Chesapeake Inn is the perfect venue for Canal Day. Today may be calm, but tomorrow won't be. The Inn's Marina is host for many boats, especially during the last Saturday in June, when at least 10,000 people get together by land and boat to celebrate the completion of the CD Canal. If you choose not to come by boat, you may have a long walk, or you can just take the shuttle bus into town. Families can enjoy looking or participating in the many street side activities, like raffles, live music, dancing, and food, and vendors who come from near and far to display their goods. Joe Blum is one of the many Lions Club members who's volunteered his time running their booth during Canal Day. Uh, we're here today kicking off uh, our summer uh, where we raffle off, you can see behind us here, a boat. Uh, a chest, uh, a trunk, uh, and on the other side of the table there, there's a, a handmade quilt that uh, have been donated to the Lions Club. And uh, we will offer these items for raffle. For many locals and tourists, the commemoration and party is just a one-day event, but not for boaters. For them, it's at least a three-day event. In fact, Elkton resident Greg Bryson has just received his first taste. Now um, just a great excuse to get outside in the sun and meet a lot of new people and be drunk for three days. Andy Up is the in stock master, and for him, canal days are work and mass chaos. Canal day, the boats get here basically Thursday and they don't leave till Sunday. So, uh, post actually working the job and bringing boats in, you're just running around babysitting everybody. Since Andy has been employed by the inn for many years, he has heard many things and been exposed to several theories. Uh, as of 97, as I understand, it was my first year. Uh, there's a raft up out here. We actually have a picture inside. Uh, about roughly 90 boats rafted up in one big raft up. That story got around. Next year there's more boats, next year there's more boats, and it just keeps growing. This Mardi Gras on the water happens near the top of the Chesapeake Bay and the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal in the modestly sized town of Chesapeake City. So whether it's Canal Day or Canal Days, it's an annual tradition for thousands. And it just might be for you. For WBIM News, I'm Angie Will.